and um, listening to the fans, man. Those comments and those those interactions was everything. <clears throat> there was a lot of songs that I did that was really based off of somebody being like, yo, you should rap over this. I'd be like, all right. That's crazy. I don't got no yeah, ego. I'm, I don't think is. I know everything in the world. They'd be like, yo, if you did rap over this, bro. And I'd be like, cool. And it works most of the time. Yep. Still blazing. Came from the email. Get the fuck out of here. On some G shit. I need Still beats. Blazing. I'm finishing up Cushion Orange Juice. Still blazing. Wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is before they had Wiz Khalifa type beats that you could just tweet. Yeah, 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 you could just yeah, put yeah, in your you YouTube type Smoke yeah. Desert type beat yeah, and find yeah. those type. This is when you had to go scour. Mm -hmm. And I remember production. I was recording Currency like on Ustream, and he was like, "Boy, turn that shit off, boy." Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Nah, this is the wave, cuz. <laughs> it's how we doing it, man. <laughs> Social media, man." <laughs> it was like, like bro. What? <laughs> you got a camera? <laughs> Yo, how, how did? Well, I know how, but this is it's such a fun story. How the fuck did you meet Spit? There was two people that I DM'd. I don't think it was DM at that time, oh, but, but it, was, it was like a message. Instant message. Oh, instant, instant message. I am. I am. I am. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. I hit up Big Sean, and he didn't hit me back. And I hit up Spitter, and I was like, bro. Because it was when I left Warner. Yeah, he remembered that shit. Yeah, because I was down bad. I was like, yo, I, I, I got I to gotta do something, yo. Yeah, something got to happen. I got to talk to some people. I got to line it up. So I hit up Spitter, and I was like, bro, I, I feel like we're really similar. Mm -hmm. This was just a shot in the fucking dark. I was like, I feel like we're really similar. I love your music, and I would love to record with you. Let's see what we could do. And he hit me back. He was like, boy, I just did a freestyle over your shit. And he sent the uh, the Say Yeah freestyle that he did. Holy shit. And he was like, I, I do mixtapes all the time. But he was like, for some reason, this is one of my most popular ones with my fans. Hmm. He was like, so it must be something about you. And I'm like, I'm going to fly to New Orleans. Let's fuck with it. He was like, I'm going to put you in a hotel. I was like, nah, nigga, I'm going to sleep on the couch. Mind you, he probably didn't even have enough money to put me in the fucking hotel. <laughs> he was just talking just shit talking because shit. he thought like I was like a major label artist. Yeah, right, 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 I'm right. gonna put you in the hotel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm like, nah, save that money that you're gonna get on the hotel. Let's spend that on weed and let's get it in. Mm. And that's how our relationship began. Real nigga shit. Yeah, wow. yeah. How long was it after that that y'all did car service? Um, I think we did car service two weeks after that because we started oh, sending tracks shit. back and forth. Yeah, we started sending songs back and forth. The first song was another one over that game beat. That da, 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 da. I'm gonna roll another one. That was our first song we ever did together. And I think Car Service might have been the second one. That's crazy. Yeah. I think he sent me that one and I was like, I gotta bust his ass now. I gotta fuck this nigga up, yo. On some G shit, yo. That is fucking. Yeah, I think Car Service was the second one. Competition, baby. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking crazy. 